ladies and gentlemen, we are the grassroots organic resistance to the technocratic takeover. And the 18 year growth curve of this installation in Austin, Texas, that is designed to expose the globalist dehumanization program is going into a major growth phase that worries the enemy. And I use words like that, that, I mean, that's not lightly used. Politico says the cyber war is against the media and the American people. Even Politico, which is a bunch of bootlickers of the White House, says that. And you can go back three years ago to our article where Cyber Command said, we're going to take over the media, we're going to shut down our company. I mean, this is all illegal. They hate the troops, they're drugging the troops, they're giving them cancer viruses. And then they come out and say, I'm, I'm a prophet and, and part of a deeply racist thing uh, when we try to preach unity of liberty and freedom. And MSNBC comes out and, and then tries to say that the, that the Boston bombers, who haven't even been convicted, the one living guy's pled not guilty, clearly being set up, clearly a stage deal, even, even you know, mainstream news has said that. that, that they were my listeners and libertarians, and now the libertarians are the Boston bombing. See, they're not scared about Republicans. They had Steele, the former head of the RNC on there, agreeing that I'm deeply racist and I'm paid to be racist. Larry Pinkney, who's part of the real Black Panthers, the original Black Panthers that called for unity and justice, not the modern Fed Romans that are like the Black Klan to create division. He wanted to pop in this segment, the next, and uh, talk about this. And I think that's a, important to get his take on this. Uh, and he's, a, of course, syndicated columnist, you name it. And, uh, sir, what do you make of this? It seems like a desperation move here. Absolutely. My brother, it's good to be with you, Alex. Let me put it this way. Let's understand who MSNBC and the rest of these running dogs actually are. Who are they? They are, in fact, the representative of the national and global power elite. Let's understand that. They, when they talk about racist and racism, come on. They are the racist, the hypocrites, the racists. Let's understand that. They're taking the color card and doing everything they can to turn it around on anyone, including you, Alex, anyone who dares speak the truth, who dares to get people to critically think, critically think. So let's understand the source. This is despicable, but it is not at all unexpected. We have to expect they're going to be doing this more and more and more. Oh, if you don't support Obama. Oh, if you don't support the Democrats. Oh, if you don't support the Republicans. Get real. The fact of the matter is, it's especially with respect to uh, an outlet such as MSNBC, where are they? They want to talk about racism? Let's talk about the racism of Obama, who is killing, murdering, maiming brown, black, white people all over this world. But let's hone in on, quote, unquote, people of color, the black and brown babies that he's murdered and is still murdering with his drone missiles, Mr. Drone Man, Mr. Kill List, Barack Obama. Why don't they talk about that? Why don't they talk about the racism of Obama and the Democrats, not to mention the Republicans, them too, because they're supporting them. Okay, why don't they deal with that? But no, they're apologists. And you know what they apologists? They are apologists for? They are apologists for 21st century fascism. And they must be desperate because even Oliver Stone came out and said Obama's an evil snake, basically. And they want to distract off of the things that but black unemployment's doubled under Obama, and it's not that Obama's even doing it, he's a front man. They want to make it all about, if you don't do what he says, you're a racist. They're just using the fact that he's part African uh, to create this whole thing. I want to get your take on what this means, that they're getting this desperate. Now you can watch Alex Jones live at Infowars.com forward slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. You can also browse the network, the InfoWars Nightly News, and over 60 movies and documentaries all together in one place. You can watch the Alex Jones Radio Show live as it happened. So check it out, InfoWars.com forward slash show. Larry Pinkney, 
um, one of the original members of the first real Black Panther Party, not the federally controlled one, the Crates Division is joining us, cutting right to the chase, saying in about four minutes what I said in the last hour, but better, that it's just outrageous to know that they consciously don't show one racist thing I say, and then they cut it into white supremacist, and then cut back to me, and then cut to the, the, the uh, Zarnev brothers, Zohar and Tamerlan, who have clearly been set up, and then say they're libertarians and, and that they're racist whites. I mean, it's, it's getting really bizarre, folks, that they're trying to equate not being a Republican or Democrat with being a racist or a terrorist. And it shows you've got the former head of the RNC up there saying that I'm paid to be racist. Ladies and gentlemen, I mean, we just showed me protesting the Klan last week. The whole point is, it, it doesn't even matter. I mean, next they're going to say Martin Luther King's a grand dragon or something. I, I mean, these people are out of their minds. I mean, I know they know what they're doing, but it's got to be a panic switch. What does this mean now when Sebelius says, if you don't support Obamacare written by the offshore banks to rip everybody off, you're a racist? Since when can they just say you support terrorists or you're a racist with no proof, Larry? Well, they, they, they will be able to say this for as long as we, the people, allow them to say this. We need to turn these tables. We need to reverse it. We need to make it clear that we see if they want to deal with racism, we can deal with racism. We can point out that in North Africa, where black and brown people are being killed by Obama, we're in Somalia, East Africa, where black people are being killed by Obama. In Afghanistan, Pakistan, and where Obama is murdering people on a regular basis. And I'm talking about children, women, and men, old and young. Yeah, we can deal with racism. We can talk about who the real races are. And yes, Alex, they are desperate. Therefore, they are going to try and pull every despicable, ridiculous, uh, action that they possibly can. We need to take this on for what it's worth, understand it for what it's worth, but not be too diverted by it because they want to divert us and stop us from uniting black, white, brown, red, and yellow people in this country and throughout the world, but especially in the United States, need to understand that we are being targeted, targeted. You know, I listened to the uh, segment where you were talking to the sergeant, and I thought to myself, yes, those troops are being targeted, targeted just as ordinary, everyday uh, uh, human beings who are citizens of this nation are TIs, targeted individuals. Oh, yes, this is real. This is not make-believe. This is not science fiction. I only wish that it were. So what this means is we are making headway. We, when I say we, I mean we the people, black, white, brown, red, and yellow people. And the corporate stream, lame stream, lying posterior media, which is controlled by the corporations and the CIA, speaking of the CIA, okay, they are desperate, desperate to keep us ignorant and divided. We will not go for it. We will not go for it. I say now in the year 2013, as I have said back in the day with the Black Panther Party, the original Black Panther Party, all power to the people. All power to the people, black, white, brown, red, and yellow people. Don't let them uh, disunite us. Don't be uh, uh, thrown off or unnerved uh, by their ridiculous assertions, by their lies, by, by their machinations. Don't. You, are, you should be proud, Alex. You should be proud. Wear this with a badge of honor or as a badge of honor. Well, thank you, Larry. We'll talk to you again soon. He's in the Obama deception, too, coming up. God bless you, sir. I mean, I, I do, but it's just so ridiculous. And and it's it's really kind of creepy, though, to have, like, the former head of the RNC up there. I mean, it's just, we must be really getting to him. We'll be right back, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Larry. I had tried everything. I'd cut back the amount of food I was eating. I was lifting weights and jogging, but nothing was working. My body was literally starving for minerals and trace elements as well as key vitamins. And as soon as I had that, I immediately could eat half of what I was eating previously and be satisfied. Now, there are hundreds of great products at InfoWarsTeam.com, but I want to point out the three that have helped me lose 37 pounds in just two months. 
products like Beyond Tangy Tangerine, Pollen Burst, and Rebound. When I started taking the Tangy Tangerine and other products every day, I lost more than 37 pounds in just two months. Now that's results. I want to challenge my listeners to go to InfoWarsTeam.com and to order just three of their products, and you will see the changes in the way you look, feel, and in your appetite almost immediately. Start your journey to health and wellness today. InfoWarsTeam.com.